All right, here we are with our 2012 Prius third gen, and we're gonna make a video about removing the uh, 12 volt auxiliary battery. First, we're just gonna remove a bunch of stuff to access the battery. We got our trunk mat that will get out of the way. So unlock the lid here, take it out. Then there's the tray here. That just lifts right out also. And there's your big main battery, but uh, under here is the auxiliary 12 volt battery. So now we've got, well, sort of access to the battery. Uh, this helps to remove this little cover as well. Makes it, it gives you more room to get the negative cable off. So there's two uh, 10 millimeter, uh, well, one's a bolt, one's a nut on a bolt. <laughs> so we can take those, knock those loose. Da, 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 da. Da. Okay. Oh, the kind of cool thing about this is that it's uh, built into the tray. It's not one of those J bolts that falls down and you know gets lost or something. Um, okay, so that you can set aside, and then we need to uh, disconnect the negative. First, okay. you can out there. then you can just pop up that cap, and then you can undo the positive. Oh, okay. Oh, and then the last thing is this little vent piece. You can just pop that out and pop it back into the other battery. Uh, so then you can remove this one. We're dropping in our new battery. There you go, it just sets in the tray. And then we'll put on our positive and tighten it down. Oh, don't forget your vent. You can still pop that in after. There we go. Fits under the positive cable just fine. And then, so yeah, we'll tighten that down with the 10 millimeter wrench. Don't go too crazy on it. Snap that down. Let's see, and we got our clamp here. Okay, let's go down. All right, and then the last thing is just getting our negative hooked up. Oh, got it wedged in there. All right. All right, that's good. Okay, this one has a hook into the panel. Kind of push it up in there and then snaps in there. We're gonna set the panel in over the battery and just take note of the three tabs that have to line up. So if you notice it's going in crooked, it's probably one of those tabs that didn't line up. There we go. All right, then we'll drop in our tray. Put on the lid. And let's see, follow directions. <laughs> Lock. And then last, our floor mat. Our cargo mat, whatever you want to call it. Or you might have one of those cargo trays, the rubber ones. And that's it.